Welcome, everyone, to Bibliophiles, a show from the Ann Arbor District Library in Michigan that's all about books. Each episode, we spend a few minutes talking about a book related to a certain theme that we've picked. This time, the theme that we've picked is the Schneider Family Book Awards. This is an award that honors an author or illustrator of a book that embodies an artistic expression of the disability experience for child and adolescent audiences. My name is Christopher, and I'm here as always with Lucy and Amanda. So, Lucy, what book do you have for us today? Um, well, the title I picked is a 2024 winner. It's a young, uh, no, it's a middle grade book called Wild Oak. It is by C.C. Harrington. And it is a book that story that takes place in 1963 in England. It's about a girl named Maggie who has a stutter. Um, the very beginning of the book starts with this mysterious chapter of like sort of this really descriptive, some descriptive paragraphs of this wood this forest and then this large animals being released from a cage and you don't really know why. So then we go to Maggie and Maggie has a stutter. Um, that's so, you know, it keeps her from participating in things, keeps her from like speaking up in class. In fact, she injures herself. So she has like, if she's no, she's going to get called on. She'll like hurt herself. So she has to go to the nurse. Um, and her dad wants to send her away to like basically to institutionalize her. Her mother helps her father make a compromise that they'll just send her to stay with her grandfather, Grandpa Fred, who lives near this forest called Wild Oak Forest. She doesn't want to do that because she doesn't know him, but she thinks it's better than what her father is offering and she doesn't really have a choice. So this is the same wood that we heard about in the beginning and that animal was a snow leopard. So there's this other line of this story where um, a rich Londoner didn't know what to buy his adult sister for her birthday. So he went to this pet store in Harrods where they had all these exotic animals and he bought her a snow leopard. She was unhappy with that. So she, it, eventually the snow leopard kind of gets out and so the chapters of this book alternate between the point of view of Maggie and the point of view of Rumpus, who is the snow leopard, and what his experience is like having been separated from his twin sister and in this wild and, you know, not really knowing um, what's going on. And so Maggie's grandfather ends up being a great person for her because he listens and he just allows her to be her. And she's a very compassionate, caring, independent thinker. She loves animals and she finds that animals are, are, she can speak to animals at home. She had a lot of mice and little pets. When she and Rumpus encounter each other, they realize that they have a lot in common. They're both voiceless. They both are facing peril. You know, uh, there are people who want to hunt this dangerous snow leopard that's in the woods and Maggie might get sent away to this school. And so Maggie has to learn to use her voice to stand up for this leopard because the leopard doesn't have a voice. And um, there was a lot I loved about this book. It's very beautiful. Maggie was a great character. Her grandfather was a great character. I really enjoyed getting the points of view from the snow leopard because um it just was a really great way to describe the the forest, which kind of was a character in and of itself. And what I also loved about it was um, that Maggie is not required to fix her stutter. She just learns to be fluid with a stutter. Um, and so I, I really enjoyed the way that that played out. Also, the, there are some great author's notes at the end, both about like... Um, saving wild animals, saving panthers, other wild animals about stuttering and about, um, you know, the, the pet, like purchasing of um, wild animals and then trees and how trees talk to each other. So it's a really great book. Very informative. I enjoyed it a lot. That is called Wild Oak by C.C. Harrington. Amanda, what did you pick? Um, so the book I chose was also Wild Oak. Oh. I was wondering if someone else is going to pick it. Um, 
Yeah, I wasn't. I went back and forth. I started another book, and then this was on my to be read list um, when it came out, and I checked it out, returned it. I just went back and forth, and there's a handful of books or more that I've already read that fall under this uh, award mm -hmm. category. And I'm like, no, I'm going to read something new. And I love reading a fresh middle grade book. And I echo everything that Lucy said. It's a great read. I also love the two points of view of hearing the girl's voice and then the pan or the, the snow leopard's voice. Um, I think it's a great read for young folks who read or any age, but for especially kids who are into like animals or it's a great read alike for books like Pax or the one and only Ivan, that whole one and only series, um, The Wolf Wilder, which I, I think I've talked about, The Wolf Wilder and Pax on this show. So they're really great read-alikes for that because you've got a kid that they can empath em empathize with and relate to because she's struggling. Whether that kid who's reading the book has a stutter or not, she's still being picked on. There are still things going on in her life that she's trying to get through, which I think kids will identify with. Plus you've got a bit of like, this rescue and there's it's imminent danger for like the cub. And if her stuttering doesn't improve enough while she's with her grandfather, she's going to be sent to that awful school she doesn't want to go to. So there's a bit of like a little bit of suspense in the middle of this like calm book where you are sort of enveloped in this beautiful old forest that's under threat. Like they want to tear down the forest and there's this giant, giant, giant like oak tree. And that's where like the injured cub hides and where she goes to meet it. So just a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, and this was the winner for 2023, which I, I really wanted to read one of the winners. So there you go. Um, so yeah, really lovely book. Some of the other books that I read that I thought about talking about for this and did not, um, there's a really great book called Simon Sort of Says, gorgeous book. Um, I also read Stunt Boy in the Meantime, another great book by Jason Reynolds. Um, and then there's a graphic novel from 2021 called When, Scar when Stars Are Scattered. Those are also three awesome books that I would recommend from the list that I've read. Um, so yeah, you got two nods for Wild Oak by C.C. Harrington on the table today. Christopher, did you pick Wild Oak? And if not, <laughs> what did you pick? <laughs> I didn't. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> But I chose this book, The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. And I was really happy to read this book. My daughter read it quite a few years ago. And anytime I can read one of her books, it's always a lot of fun. I read this on vacation when I was in England. So that made it extra special because so much of the book takes place in London, but mostly in Kent County. The story is about a brother and sister. So it's it's Ada, who is 11, and Jamie, who is 6. Ada has a club foot, and she's really treated poorly. Uh, she's really abused by her mother. And in 1939, the which is when the book is set in London, there is an evacuation of children. So Ada and Jamie get on a train and head to Kent to spend some time in what everyone hopes is a more safe area. Um, Ada begins to kind of come out of her shell. She begins to ride a horse, and it's so exciting. She starts walking more and meets some friends. And there's a really exciting scene where she thinks she may have found a spy. So the whole thing is set against the backdrop of England at the very beginning of World War II. It's a great story. It's a super fast read. I was really surprised at how much history I got out of the book. Uh, it was it really put the year 1939 in a new perspective for me. I had no idea that children were evacuated. I had no idea that Kent was the scene of uh, bombing by Germany in the war. So it was wonderful. The book ends not on a cliffhanger exactly, but it does end on a very climactic note. And now I understand why there's a sequel to this book. So it was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. And I don't know if it was a winner the year it came out, but um, are there winners or runner-ups? Or I don't remember how Schneider Family Book Award works. There's winners and honors. So it it was one of those two. 
Right. It was, I don't know, but it was one of those two indeed. So there you have it. We've got two book recommendations this time, not three, but Wild Oat comes highly recommended. And so does my book, of course. So if you want to tell us uh, what you've been reading and if you have any Schneider Family Book Award winners that you can recommend, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy reading.